This video is the third part of a series which explains the basic principles of root canal treatment of a single rooted tooth with simple root morphology. In this video we will discuss the components included in the preparation of a glide path. You will need an endodontic kit, endodontic files and sodium hypochlorite solution. Before starting, place a bend in the needle 2-3 mm short of the estimated working length of the tooth. This will help you avoid extruding sodium hypochlorite beyond the apex and into the periapical tissues. Flood the pulp chamber with sodium hypochlorite solution and locate canal orifices using the DG16 probe. Take the size 10 flexophile and set the rubber stop to the estimated working length. Coat the flexophile lightly in a chelating paste lubricant. You may also want to pre-bend the file if the canal morphology is curved. Passively negotiate the canal with the flex file up to the estimated working length. If resistance is felt, it may be an indication to drop down to a smaller size of flexophile. Once the estimated working length is reached, the working length of the teeth should be confirmed either with a radiograph or by using an electronic apex locator. The file should then be used to confirm the apical patency. Perform small push-pull movements with the flexophile until the size 10 flexophile feels super loose in the canal. Irrigate with 3 ml of sodium hypochlorite solution. The ProGlider rotary file should be set to the working length. It is important to use the rotary files with the correct speed and torque on the endodontic motor. Carefully negotiate the file to the working length of the teeth to expand the glide path. Once this has been done, irrigate using 3 ml of sodium hypochlorite solution and recapitulate using a size 10 flexophile and irrigate again. In the next video, we will cover the steps of shaping and finishing the root canal.